Cobra Kai might be a series about the warring factions of the martial arts world, but at its core, it's a redemption story. The battle between Daniel and Johnny and the original Karate Kid still lies at the heart of this revival, and one deleted scene in particular made their rivalry so much better. So stay tuned to today's video as we discuss this deleted scene and how it improved their rivalry. First up, Cobra Kai improved Daniel and Johnny's rivalry by referencing a Karate Kid deleted scene. During the second season of Cobra Kai, they referenced a Karate Kid scene that was deleted from the original cut, improving Daniel and Johnny's rivalry overall. Decades after Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence fought against one another in the All-Valley Tournament, Cobra Kai brings the characters back to life as adults. The carriages went their separate ways after Daniel's illegal crane kick defeated Johnny in the battle. However, once their paths ended up crossing again in the sequel series, they couldn't help but rehash the events of the Karate Kid and what happened between them. This even included discussing a showdown they had in the end and a deleted scene that was barely ever seen. Toward the end of Cobra Kai's second season, Daniel and Johnny ended up eating dinner with their significant others. One moment from the past that they ended up reminiscing about involved Danny smearing blueberry pie all over Johnny's shirt. Daniel is quick to point out that he only did this after Johnny made him sit on it by placing the dessert on his seat when he sat down. Those who have watched the original Karate Kid may have realized that this never happened in the original movie. So stop! This is because the pie incident was a cut scene from the Karate Kid and only shows that Cobra Kai used this to improve Daniel's rivalry, but adds more to their past. How Cobra Kai Changed Daniel and Johnny's Rivalry The inclusion of this deleted scene referenced in Cobra Kai shows that Cobra Kai is trying to change Daniel and Johnny's rivalry for the better. Their childhood rivalry was much more nuanced from the beginning of this series. Cobra Kai ended up showing the characters in their later years and taking time to show their life as an adult, which also meant highlighting the characters' various experiences and thoughts that came from each other's arrival on the scene. The series not only helped to reshape some of Johnny's actions from the original Karate Kid, but also did a lot of work to make the audience his route for Johnny in the first place. Instead of Daniel being the only clear protagonist of the story, Cobra Kai added many reasons for fans to view Daniel as the Karate Kid's real villain and see Johnny in a new light. In addition to adding new contextual scenes that improved Daniel and Johnny's rivalry from the past, Cobra Kai also renewed renewed the feud on both sides in their adult years. When they finally met as adults, they wanted to prove to one another that they were the better sensei when it came to teaching their various techniques. They even allowed their rivalry to be passed down on the students, which is the overall plot for the early seasons of the Cobra Kai. It was only after seeing how their actions negatively affected their students that they started to see the error in their ways and change for the better. This allowed the ongoing long-standing rivalry between Johnny and Daniel to fade into the past, as their obsessions with one another and inability to see the worst in each other came to pass, and they finally moved on. Cobra Kai would then transform this insane rivalry into an incredibly strong partnership that fuels much of the drama in the series. Why this Karate Kid deleted pie scene is so hard to find. So, now that we have discussed this deleted scene and how it affected Cobra Kai, where can you find it on the internet? While the Karate Kid deleted scene referenced in Cobra Kai was inaccessible for many years, after the film's initial release quite a while ago, the director of the series eventually ended up sharing behind-the-scenes footage of the rehearsals of this scene on his own personal YouTube channel. It was only after Cobra Kai ended up referencing the scene that the footage began to circulate online thanks to being included in the brand new 4K Ultra release of The Karate Kid by Sony Pictures in 2021. The scene has not been officially released online, but a few versions can currently be found on YouTube before they are taken down. If you want to see this scene in full quality, you'll have to buy the physical release of the 4K Ultra version of The Karate Kid. What do you think about this deleted scene and how it affected Cobra Kai? Let us know in the comments section below. And now, on to some other Cobra Kai news and information to end today's video. Next up, Ralph Macchio had a feud with Cobra Kai co-star William Zabka during Karate Kid filming back in the day. Of course, Ralph Macchio and William Zabka played iconic rivals on screen as Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence in both the original Karate Kid and its continuation Cobra Kai. However, they were one of the few acting duos whose rivalry went beyond the characters they played and went into real life. It was Cobra Kai star Ralph Macchio recently confirming that when they were filming the original Karate Kid in 1983, he and Zabka didn't originally get along. This wasn't because of any argument they originally had, but because of something that happened as they were filming on the set of the movie. According to The Guardian, where this interview originally was posted, one incident happened on set that knocked Macchio unconscious and led both of them to not get along during the filming of the Karate Kid. He said this in the interview about what happened. When filming began 
began in California, Macchio and the actor who played his tormentor, William Zabka, never fully warmed to one another. There was an accident during the filming of the Halloween fight that ended with Macchio being knocked out cold. This simmering tension fed usefully into the movie. Test audiences loved the scene. When a cut was ready to be shown to a test audience in 1984, Macchio was invited along. The audience loved it. Of course, the interview didn't go into detail about what specific action initiated this feud between the two of them. However, it was previously confirmed that there was an incident on set where Zabka kicked Macchio in the head during a scene in which Lawrence provokes Johnny at the high school Halloween dance. Though the two seemingly hated one another at the time because of this, over the years as they have developed into strong adults, their rivalry has always stayed on the screen. Since then, the two of them have formed an extremely strong friendship with one another, which originally played a hand in Cobra Kai becoming the phenomenon that it is when it hit streaming services back in 2018, even before Netflix got a hold of it. The ongoing storylines throughout Cobra Kai have been extremely dynamic between LaRusso and Lawrence, as the two started harboring some sort of hard feelings towards one another because of their rivalry back in the 1980s. However, the two of them developed a good bond over time, despite their differing philosophies of the fighting world. By the end of Cobra Kai Season 5, it's clear that the two of them are now best friends, which shows that your worst enemy can become your best friend when you get to know them. Their rivalry on screen is also another reason why Cobra Kai is so good because the two of them realize how well they can connect and become good friends. It wasn't a quick fix between between the two of them, as even when their dojos were eventually combined in the series, they still had their differences. Over time, the two of them, working together and helping the students become the fighters they are, their friendship developed and became a true symbol of what makes Cobra Kai as good as it is. The show sometimes gets silly, but all of these moments feel extremely earned because of their sincerity throughout the show. By Cobra Kai Season 5, it's not a question that Daniel and Johnny will eventually get along, as they have put all their effort into their friendship and have become true friends. When the two of them get a chance to to sit down, it all feels rewarding as their friendship has been built from the ashes. Cobra Kai seemingly is going nowhere, as Netflix has tracked it for another few seasons and might eventually announce even more depending on what happens by the end of the current slate. However, one thing that we might see eventually leave the show is these two, Daniel and Johnny. Though they are at the heart of the series and why the show began in the first place, nowadays the show mainly focuses on the kids, as they have developed into their characters of themselves. The show isn't just about Johnny and Daniel anymore, as it's about the students that they have brought up, their rivalries with the other new characters, and their school life. We wouldn't be surprised if Daniel and Johnny take a back seat in the coming seasons, as they could take a much more mentor role rather than having their storylines. They have done a lot over the last few seasons, so it might be nice to see them step back and the kids take the forefront of the show. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, please let us know in the comments section. It'll be helpful. Make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.